This is my first ever video blog and I'm keeping it because I'm embarking on my biggest work to date, the Great War Symphony. And I was thinking it'd be a good idea just to record on video what I'm doing. So this new work, the Great War Symphony, is taking place in about 14, 15 months time. That's the premiere in the Royal Albert Hall, um, October the 9th, 2018 um, and we're recording it in Abbey Road next March. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a long time but it's only now that I'm starting to write it. I'm calling it a, a monument in music to all those who were victims of the First World War. You can have a monument in stone of course but I think you can have it in all art forms and this is my monument to all those who fell in the First World War. Um, I can remember as a child, my grandfather on my maternal side used to talk to me a lot about the war. He was a sergeant um, um, and survived the war, of course, and he would talk about it a lot. And he was deaf in one ear. And uh, that was because a cannon exploded right next to him. Um, I can remember him talking about that quite a lot. So I do have a kind of personal link back to the to the First World War. I can also remember him singing Mademoiselle from Armitiers, parlez-vous, and uh, it's a long way to Tipperary, among others. I mean, there's some of the um, earliest musical memories I have. And I am going to use those, actually, in the first movement of the war symphony. There are four movements, and each one is going to reflect on a year of the war, so August 1914 through to the summer of 15, 1915 to 16 in the second movement and so on. So watch this space, I'm going to be talking about it um, in these blogs, telling you how I'm getting on. Uh, one other thing is I'm not just writing the music for this, I'm actually doing most of the research myself for the, for the text. Like, like here I've got Love Letters of the Great War, um, Poetry of the First World War, and this book's brilliant, Minds at War, Poetry and Experience of the First World War. So I'm a very busy man at the moment, and uh, I'll see you all later.